15,000 people posing an imminent threat to Israeli snipers. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Sahabat Aswaja Danny Ayelon adalah seorang diplomat, kolumnis, dan politikus Israel Ia adalah duta besar Israel untuk Amerika Serikat dari tahun 2002 hingga 2006 Sebelumnya, ia juga pernah bekerja sebagai penasihat senior untuk Perdana Menteri Israel Benjamin Netanyahu dalam suatu acara interview di televisi Inggris, pembawa acara yang bernama Mehdi Hasan ini berdebat dengan politisi Israel tersebut. Perdebatan menjadi menarik dan memanas ketika presenter menanyakan tentang siapa yang bertanggung jawab atas kematian di Palestina. Berikut videonya. Uh, we have to look at who is responsible for the death. And the responsible is only Hamas. Here's a question to you. 143 Palestinians at least, and the count keeps changing because Israelis keep killing more, have died since March the 30th, since the beginning of the so-called Great March of Return. Um, 15,000 Palestinians, let's just be clear, 15,000 have been wounded. 4,000 of them, according to the United Nations, were shot with live ammunition. Are you telling us, are you telling the Oxford Union audience here, the audience at home, that those 15,000 people were all members of Hamas? Seriously? Mary, I can look at anyone here in their eyes and say Israel is doing its level best not to kill anyone who is not involved. It's very important to know who is responsible here because... Is it not the, is it not the responsibility of the people pulling the trigger? That's normally no. how you hold people responsible well, for someone well, being killed. Well, how do you define pulling the trigger? Um, if you have the Hamas people... A man with a gun yeah. aims at a child from okay. 150 meters away and shoots him in the head. What about, what about Palestinian terrorists who are hiding behind innocent people okay. who are launching well, it's a rockets? Well, question. 15,000 wounded. How many of them were either members of Hamas slash terrorists? I do not know. I know that from the 62 on the 14th of May, 50 were Hamas by their own admission. No, on the we other don't know that because there hasn't been an investigation. The facts are... You got their Hamas fact, membership no, forms from no, their bodies? The, 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 facts facts? Are, the facts are that Hamas leadership, sometimes at gunpoint, are sending those poor Hamas, those, those poor Gazan people to the borders. Now, Where's what the business do they that? have in the borders? The UN doesn't say that. Human rights groups don't say that. Well, Let's come back to the free. issue of the shootings here. Even if they were all members of Hamas, even if all 15,000 people are, you do realize that under international law and basic morality, you can't shoot people for being members of a group, no matter what group it is. You can only shoot them when they pose an imminent threat to you. There were 15,000 people posing an imminent threat to Israeli snipers. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. <laughs> and okay. I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. First of all, not to the Israeli snipers, but certainly to the Israeli kids and babies and women and men who live in their own territory. Hamas is sending their people. It's not just demonstration. Countless Medi. Palestinians at the Medi. protests have been interviewed just, and they said we weren't sent by Hamas. Just go into the but blogs. But they're all liars, are they? Just go into the blogs of Hamas, where they say the Jews are sons of pigs <clears throat> and sons of dogs. And you're now quoting them as a reliable have, source. That's my favorite. No. I've interviewed so many Israelis. You're the first to come no. here and say, my source is Hamas. Of the course first. it is. In of 10 years it, of doing this. Of course it is. Wow. Because all you have to do is to see, to see what they say. Well, no, how about we look, I, at, I how just, about we look at some facts rather than your, I, your kind of I dodgy blogs? Quote Let's, let me ask you this. What threat did Razan al Najjar, 21 year old volunteer paramedic, uh, who was shot while wearing a white uniform in the chest 100 meters away from the fence, what threat did she pose to Israeli snipers? Wait a minute. This is something I really looked into. Okay. She, I'm glad someone. Yes. Did. She was having an incendiary bomb, and there is an investigation by the IDF, so she was a threat. But I have another question for Where's you. Where's your... No, 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 no. Why, was she, why was she going into why? a... Why? You know why she was going. Zone. Because no, you're killing her Eddie, people and she's no, a paramedic. No. Can you tell me how many Israelis were killed by Palestinian protesters since March the 30th? You know Simple what, question. I, can, I, I didn't check it, but you Zero. know Zero. Why but you're is the it, ones under no, threat. No, no, no. I want to ask, why is it that no Israeli was killed? because the Israeli government, elected democratically, is defending them. Hamas people, not well, defending Palestinians people. Palestinians don't get a right to No, 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 they are they? sending them They're to die. To they are sending them to die. It's a culture this of death. Really, you keep saying they were sent to their death, as yes. if Israelis have no agency. You were forced to pull the trigger. You just shot them because Hamas whispered in your ears to shoot no. them. No. You could choose not to kill people at a fence, who are just damaging a fence, allegedly, as the UN, the EU, Medi international lawyers have said. No other country shoots people in this way, Medi in the back as they're running away. Mehdi, I'm sorry if I show some impatience, 
but it's not a human rights situation. It's an area in conflict. It's an armed oh, conflict. So in war zones, there's no human rights. You can do whatever you want. Uh, well, there is, is, that is, there, is, is. there is laws shoot people of in the law. Back. Shoot nurses, no, shoot kids. It's can I ask a question? Does Israel control Gaza's borders, airspace, and territorial waters? Yes or no? No. Who no, does? no. Really? Israel, no. Wow. Because I'm just going to come in and say bareface falsehood. No, the things. So are fishermen not, yes, who go beyond no. six miles Listen. and get shot, they just imagine the bullets hitting them. Listen, the blockade is because the Didn't blockade is because. Didn't ask about the blockade. No. But I'm glad you brought that the up. Hamas the World Bank is says you're strangling us. Palestinian the territory with the blockade. Is killing and want to kill us, and they say we want to blot Israel off the map. We don't want any Jews there, and this is the main problem. Your former boss, Avigdor Lieberman, Israel's current defense minister, oh, founder you, of your you, party. You raise now a touchy issue. Okay. I would well, he's the defense minister. to me as my Hold former on. boss. He's, he's your former boss. He's also the current defense minister. I'm not in the party anymore. Okay. Independent. Please, let it be recorded. He said, he said, quote, there are no innocent people in the Gaza Strip to justify the killings. Do you support that statement? Listen, I'm not in the government. I do not support Lieberman. I do not support many things he says. I, I don't think that there are not innocent people in Gaza. There are. But they are subject to the terror of Hamas and they are sending them into the border. And when General Zvika Vogel, former head of Southern Command, said in April, if a child or anyone else gets close to the fence, his punishment is death. Do you I, support that death penalty for anyone who comes near a fence? I, I don't agree to that, except if he is holding a weapon. Mohammed Ibrahim Ayoub, 14 years old, was not holding any weapon. The Israeli sniper shot him in the head. Did he deserve to die? No one deserves to die. So why did the Israeli sniper shoot him kill, in the head? Unless they aim to kill. He wasn't aiming to kill. So why was I'm he shot in the sure. head? I'm not sure. If you look at the, if you look at the, at the facts. What are the facts? The facts I mean, you are... Don't do, you, there's no transparent investigations. You don't allow any international investigators in. And then you say, trust you, that the nurse had a bomb and a 14-year-old guy was going to kill a sniper. I do trust the Israeli military. I do trust the Israeli Supreme Court, which is very much trusted by all the world. Israel is transparent. That's Israel, well, I'm sorry. That's not what human Listen, rights groups in Israel say, say. I may say things which may be inconvenient truth. They're also that, not true, but factually, I'm but here to speak the truth. Let's go to our panel that we're uh, talking to here in the Oxford. And Diana Butu is a Palestinian citizen of Israel, is a uh, human rights lawyer, is a former advisor uh, to the PLO. Would you concede? that Hamas does have some responsibility for the way in which it runs Gaza, for the way in which it incites attacks against Israel, for some of the deaths in, in, in the Gaza Absolutely Strip? Absolutely not. Every choice Israel has made, Israel's always had an opportunity to choose whether to kill these, these people who are, uh, who are protesting or not to kill them, and they have deliberately chosen to kill them. The idea that somehow we are all linked to Hamas, that somehow, we, because people are linked to Hamas, that they are not human beings, is absolutely ridiculous. He knows very well that the only the only time that a soldier can shoot is if that soldier himself or herself is under imminent threat. There have been no Israeli soldiers killed or injured. It means that what Israel is doing is deliberately choosing to slaughter Palestinians. Before I bring back Danny to respond to that.